Hi, I'm Dulcie Hill. I want to talk today about research updates and how uh, many of us are getting phone calls from people who love us, know us, or never heard a big breakthrough with MS about the stem cell uh, curing MS. And I want you to know that uh, most of this stuff is not new news. If you are a member of uh, uh, our Facebook group, MS Frontiers, you will know that Sandy Hansen, uh, one of our uh, administrators, has been documenting her uh, progress with going through this. It is for people who have relapsing remitting and uh, um, early stages, uh, first 10 years or so, you're the best candidate. People with uh, chronic progressive or just, you know, we just can't look at that being the solution. So I'm reading this uh, MS research stuff and, and I, I just can't tell you that the first thing they talk about is to, to Sabri being used in uh, uh, chronic progressive or, or different types of progressive MS and there's no positive uh, results so far with that. So it's wonderful for relapsing remitting. It's uh, that along with Lemtrada are the best odds of, of keeping you healthy or from progressing into disease uh, or disability. Uh, Jelenia, again, approved for relapsing remitting. Uh, nothing new on the research front except that uh, another disappointing findings that uh, when compared to, to Sabri or Lemtrada, it's not as good and it's not a wonder for people with uh, progressive MS. Uh, let's see. This is a million dollar word. Laquinamod uh, has been researched. There's nothing new here. The, the primary progressive trial uh, that began in 2015 will primarily evaluate the effects on the brain atrophy. Uh, there's When we find out what happens with this study, and you're on MS Frontiers, uh, um, I'm sure Marco uh, will let us know, I will let us know, or Sandy will let us know. Um, and everybody who's on that is, uh, will let us know as well. So we help each other. Uh, there is Xanaplex, uh, Declazumab uh, that they're looking at right now. Nothing new, uh, Rituxin for progressive MS, and Ocrelizumab, which is our next great hope for progressive MS. Um, Rituxin, all the reports that I see firsthand with friends who are on it, uh, they really like it. It's helping them not uh, progress further. So. If you have progressive MS and there's a way you can get on Rituxin, that would be really good. The Ocrelizumab is the uh, uh, the thing that they're really trying to research to put people with progressive MS on, but the uh, kissing cousin is Rituxin. Uh, there are a number of other things that uh, I have made videos on that uh, they're not cutting news. Antilingo is, that's been disappointing results. But uh, yeah, just uh, stay tuned. Don't get excited when people call you and say, what's the story on this new stem cell thing? This new stem cell thing is not a new story. And, and it's exciting because it gives uh, people who are newly diagnosed hope. And uh, just email or private message uh, people on MS Frontiers. 
uh, on Facebook, subscribe to my channel, and uh, um, subscribe to that. And I pray for every one of you. I'm still without pain, which is such a blessing. Um, thank you so much, and God bless you all.